Mestaval started the day I was invited to a private scavenger hunt. And guess what? It was boring. As I'm not a shy person, I told my friends what I would have done differently if I would have organized it. In the end, my friends were really annoyed and told me, if you really think you can do it better, then for God's sake, do it. It's all about exploring the city. You will go places you have never seen. You will have access to the most unusual locations. And it offers new perspectives on places you have passed 100 times before. The way I see it, playing and acting are human desires, so all it takes is a stage. And Nestorval is that stage. At a Nestorval adventure, you will meet nice people. You will have a crazy good time. And it will be really relaxing. Because you won't think about all the stress in your life when you run for it. Yes, I guess I can really promise and guarantee if you run for your life, you will forget, you will forget about everything. But honestly, running alone is not funny at all. Nestaval is about playing and it's about the perception of the city. It's about noticing little details on the streets. It's about, it's about exploring complete new districts. We are living in a society which is dominated by social media, communication and web-based interactions. We are working more than eight hours a day in front of a computer and I think we spent the last ten years exploring the internet. I think now it's the time to explore the city around us again. And I think we all still remember our childhood, those easygoing days, uh, seeking for adventures in the nature, in the forests, in the fields. And I'm sure there's still this little child, this Peter Pan, in all of us. But Peter Pan is missing the right stage. Nestorwell can be the stage. But what is Nestorwell? Nestorwell is a new interpretation of a treasure hunt. It's a mixture between performance, between playing and exploring the city. So just to give you an example, you say, yes, I want to attend to a Nestorwell adventure. You first receive a video message where it gives you the hint where you have to go, a little riddle, and it will tell you something about the story. So you then come to a place. There are 36 up to 150 people also coming together. You are divided into groups, meet complete new strange people. And suddenly a woman is starting to sing. Another person comes, takes out a pistol, shoots her and you are asking yourself oh my god what is happening now but you get a clue you have to find out who is the murderer there's only one person which can find out how to solve this problem and this person is you alone Nestorwell makes you to the main character in your own adventure so you come at the main station you know you have to find a certain locker for your next clue. 
but on the other side you are told, beware, there's a man with a black suitcase waiting for you. If he touches you, you have to leave the game. And what's happening now is way better than we could ever do it as creators of Nesterval, because the Truman Show in the mind started long before people recognized it themselves. Suddenly, you see all persons at the main station. You recognize every detail, every action which is happening. You see corners which you have never seen before. You have an active experience of the city. And I tell you what, we never had a man with a black suitcase at the main station. It was not necessary. <laughs> but how did it start? In 2011, me and two friends, Teresa and Marco, had this idea of creating some new kind of treasure hunt. It should be dramatic stories, epic things we wanted to tell, a bunch of good riddles. It should be something between theater and playground. We were working, we worked on that for more than eight weeks, and guess what? No one wanted to participate. They all said, no. <laughs> Schnitzeljagden? No way. I'm too old for that. But finally, we were able to find 12 friends with little begging, with little enforcement, who said, yeah, okay, we do that. It was meant to happen one time, but already on the next day, people came and asked us, hey, when will there be the second adventure? Are you doing it again? I've got friends who want to participate. So we started to create a second, a third, and a fourth adventure. But there were many things we had to learn, especially in the beginning. Now we know setting a station in a dog poo area isn't the smartest idea. Now we know that seven hours might be a little bit too long for an adventure. <laughs> now we know not to send people into a mirror hall haunted by a Stephen King clown. <laughs> <coughs> I can tell you we had two broken noses. But even those two broken noses guys said, yeah, one will be the next adventure. <laughs> so, <coughs> we kind of didn't do it that wrong. The Nestorwell adventure started to be very successful and were fully booked um, by that time then. Still, we did everything just for fun. With fun, I mean, we didn't have any income at all. Quite contrary, we paid to let this adventure take place. So, as I'm quite smart, the next adventure, I put a donation box on the table. Guess what? From all those 36 people, we earned, believe it or not, 14 euros. <laughs> you might laugh, but that was a major point for us, because that was the day where I said, OK, we have to get professional. Um, so we started to sell tickets for 10 euros. It shouldn't be too much, I said it always should be something what every, everyone should be able to come and play. And still, it worked again. And 2012 then, there came the first big milestone. We were asked by Kunst Halloween to create the first adventure. Um, wow, we were excited. It was the first time we were asked by outsiders if we can create a game for them. And it should have been for three times. We were really afraid, do people come there? Will there happen anything? And again, we played it for more than half a year, which was not only very good, of course, for Kunst Halloween, it was great for us, because suddenly we had a big fan base growing on Facebook. And that was the time where I said, I want to do it as my profession. I really love to play. I love to create stories. So nowadays, I'm doing nothing else than just uh, doing 10 times a year public adventures where everyone can take place, all of you could take place. It is very important for us uh, that we get many people or many different people to be a child again. On the other side, what we are doing is we create adventures for big companies, for PR strategies, for team buildings, for incentives, and you know what? It doesn't matter with whom we play. 
we always find the inner child in the people, which is really a very nice job for us. A Nestable Adventure can, brings you, can bring you to a whole district in the city. It can take place in a big park in the Prater. It can just be in one building. It will bring you to places you have maybe thought about visiting for 100 times. The Spanish Riding School, the Narrenturm in Wien, the Secession. Passed it for 100 times. I never went inside there until the day I thought, hey, we could do an adventure there. And what also did not change from the beginning was that we still have our lovely stories with lovely characters in our mind. We started with one that guy in the beginning. It was Philip Nestorol back there. Now he has already a very big family. We are very happy that we are working together with more than 20 actors and actresses who are willing to play those bizarre and really ill uh, in mind uh, characters. Um, but what I want to tell you, it's not necessary to have a big strategy in your mind. Uh, it is all about fun. And fun, all of you could have too. Just think about your next birthday or just a boring weekend. Just invite your friends to go into your favorite district, play there, hide and seek. Don't be afraid of being a child. My advice as an expert, it can't get wrong. Just have a good time. Go out and play. And the very last thing, if you want to make your friends little surprises, then give them a very unexpected end. Thank you. Have fun with them.